Casey Vinyl Finds Number Five. What's up? Recent Vinyl Finds Number Five. Right now we're listening to my twin, Gat Mangione. Kind of look like him in this picture. I think I need a haircut. Anyway, um, I was DJing a wedding uh, this past weekend in Stockbridge, Mass, and I stopped uh, at a thrift store that didn't have much, but I picked up three things there. This is one of them. Sing Along Junk by Gap Mangione. Now, I was hoping that I found the Gap Mangione album that had the Jay Dilla sample and the Wu-Tang sample from Supreme uh, Clientele, the Ghostface sample. You know, uh, that song he has called Free Again was sampled by Ghostface on Supreme Clientele and, um, you know, the one that goes, Wu-Tang Clan, Wu-Tang Clan and I am So, everybody knows that uh, Gat Mangione is Chuck Mangione's brother. I would say the uh, iller of the Mangione brothers. Uh, but, yeah, this song... That, those songs that I was hoping to find are on his, I think, first album called Diana in the uh, Autumn Wind. That song is on this album, and that is actually the song that Jay Dilla samples for Slum Village. Uh, You've had a nana fall in love. So uh, there's another version of it on here that I'm thinking I could flip because it's like a different version or whatever. But anyway, this is his second album. I would have much rather the first. It's not bad. I'm checking out. That's the music in the background. Um, Gat Mangione. I have another record by him called The Kids Call It Boogie that is really good. I think that's like his fourth album. So anyway, that's what made me pick it up. In that same store, I found, I don't know if anybody in the VC is familiar with the website Waxidermy, but on that website Waxidermy, they have a term for records like this one that I found called Boner. I'm not really sure why or what that means, boner, but I would say this is should be categorized under boner um, because it's by Johnny Ford. It's the banjo artistry of Johnny Ford. It looks like it was self-produced. Um, it's signed <laughs> to uh, thank you, Bill Johnny Ford, and he's got a. It's a banjo player with an eye patch. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but it's mad hokey, and it's like umpa ish. There's a uh, there's a uh, recorded at Bill Lamb Productions in Flint, Michigan, and th there's lots of tuba on this and like, but but there's some stuff actually, like there's like little banjo-y uh, nuances and, and rhythmic like uh, measures that uh, I think would make cool loops for hip hop tracks. So, you know, as always, sampling. Um, picked up this 45 because it had like the little mod target but little did I realize I mean I did realize this but I just thought it would be funny um, it's just talking I think it's the American Sportsman um, the leopard hunt two sides and it's kind of funny a soundtrack recorded in Kenya with John Saxon and professional hunters Bill Ryan and John Dugmore um, just seems real funny I don't know. I like weird stuff like this. Also, maybe for samples, but just for the hell of it. The other day, before I had to drive out to the wedding, I was in a thrift store in Queens. And let me share something with you about getting fooled. You gotta really, like, remember. Sometimes my, my memory's thrown off when I see a record and I'm really hoping to find something in a box that there's definitely nothing. And I see Jimmy Soul. And I'm like, Jimmy Soul, S-P-Q-R, it looks like a rare label. It's totally not. This is totally common. And this is that stupid song, If You Want to Be Happy for the Rest of Your Life, Never Make a Pretty Woman in Your Life. It's stupid. And I, I got fooled. But really, fooled for what? 50 cents? Jackie Wilson, um, Love Is All, and That's Why, on Brunswick. Jackie Wilson, you know, it's always good. In that same thrift store, I picked up a Glenn Campbell record just because it was in a box again with nothing there's never any records in like furniture thrift stores, thrift stores. they're there but they're never good um, so Glenn Campbell uh, Gentle on My Mind I think this was a buck or less than a buck but yeah it's just real clean um, 
and it's just, you know, I figured it looks so cool that it might be like Glenn Campbell guitar. He's really a good guitarist. Uh, actually, my friend, Mr. Finewine, was uh, telling me that uh, there's some crazy guitar solo of him on YouTube that is amazing. And so, uh, yeah, the, the great song on here is You're My World. I dedicated that to my girl. Uh, but yeah, so this was cool. This was definitely cool. Fine. And then the rest of this stuff is just stuff that's been uh, around. Um, they're not really recent vinyl finds, but they're uh, stuff that... Uh, this was in a sales box. This and another record I was thinking of selling. But I looked at how much I'd get for it, and I figured, I like Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I might as well just keep it. And it's kind of weird. I didn't think I would like Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Look at that crazy-ass pimp and shit. Look at the fucking fur coats and shit. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah, know, this has that big hit. You know, do 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 It's clean, you know. Um, but Crosby, Stills, and Nash, quiet as kept. It's got some fucking breaks. It's got some sit Not breaks, but it's got samples. Um, let's just move this along. It's another record that I've had for a while, and I've been meaning to listen to it. It's Sarita. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's on Tamla, and uh, LJ, I think that's his name, uh, one of the guys on the vinyl community here, I, I saw that post about how the, you know you can't go wrong with Tam Tamla, so, you know, this one, maybe. <laughs> maybe you might be wrong about that. Uh, it's all right, though. It's all right. There's loops. There's, there's, there's stuff that I've, I've gotten off this record. But, um, you know, it's like R&B sort of going bad. Um, on that same tip of, like, a record I was going to sell and I decided, ah, I'm not going to get much for it, might as well keep it, Neil Young Harvest. Um, I need to, I want to get more into Neil Young. I, I you know, I, I'm not, uh, I was never, like, crazy into Neil Young. I have a few records. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this real clean and try to, uh, try to get a little bit more into them. Um... Pete Townsend, this is a record that I had in the closet, White City. Um, this is a whack Pete Townsend record, but I love Pete Townsend, and uh, I found something on here. Let's just say that. I'm not going to say no more. And this is a record that my sister knew uh, the people in this band. I don't know if this is rare. It might be. Los Microwaves, Life After Breakfast. Um, it, uh, it's 80 sounding. I pulled this out. I've had it for years. It's her copy, actually. And uh, I pulled this out just to listen to it again on Posh Boy Records, just because uh, it came out in 1981, and I, th I think it's from L.A., or no, actually, I think it's from New York, and this was like, you know, at the same time, No Wave was, was, was popping, and I don't even know, I don't know if they're considered a No Wave group, but, so those are my, uh, that's Recent Vinyl Finds number five, um, uh, Questions for the VC is about that waxidermy site, and um, I'm wondering if anybody on the VC is on sites like Soul Strut, um, or anybody else on the VC produces uh, beats, <coughs> you know, off of records. Um, so yeah, if you guys answer that, then that's cool. Anyway, stay tuned for more uh, more vinyl. Peace.